When we worry about the potential dangers of storms, dramatic lightning strikes, widespread power outages, and massive floods that threaten human life come to mind. However, storms are far more deadly for creeks than for humans. Far less than 1% of Americans die each year from lightning strikes or floods. But pollution from stormwater runoff is the primary source of pollution for more than 13% of rivers and 18% of lakes in the US. Clearly, creeks have far more to fear than we do. But because these dangers are more hidden, very little is done to prevent pollution from entering the creek through stormwater runoff. Case in point, the storm drains that line roads and parking lots are directly connected to the nearest stream or body of water, not to a sewage or water treatment plant. So, every time it rains, untreated, polluted water enters the local creek. Rainwater that falls within Plaster Creek watershed flows straight into the creek or its tributaries, carrying any fertilizer, road chemicals, or sediment it picks up along the way. Small and large rain events alike wash contaminants into the creek, which can alter pH levels, water temperature, and cause algal blooms. All this stormwater adds up to create a toxic, degraded environment that cannot support downstream aquatic life. When storms occur, a massive amount of water is released in a short amount of time. This is not a problem for native ecosystems since they are adapted to handle these types of natural weather events. For example, if a large amount of water enters a native tall grass prairie, the water will slowly filter through the soil, aided by the deep, extensive root system. However, in urban and agricultural areas, artificial surfaces called impervious surfaces have replaced almost all native vegetation. Impervious surfaces cannot absorb rainwater, so rain or stormwater runoff instead flows over these surfaces into the nearest storm drain. In urban areas, the most common impervious surfaces are rooftops, paved surfaces, and turf grass lawns with short root systems. In agricultural areas, runoff comes from compacted soil and large drainage systems.